As of today, you can use Flux.2 Pro in Adobe Photoshop's generative field. This model has better prompt adherence, resolution, details and real-world knowledge. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of how you can use it. This use case shows a multi-reference consistency. I will tell Flux to generate a road in the main photo and then place the vehicle from my 3D render on it. The prompt includes instructions where and how to compose and orient these elements. This can be a useful method of creating VFX or product mockups. In the next example, I'm changing the lighting conditions of my photo. So let's turn this into a night scene with some cool polar lights in the background and maybe add some neon lights onto the vehicle. In the final example, I want my sketch to drive the composition, but change the style. So I instructed Flux to turn this sketch into a black and white silhouette illustration with red sun and red treetops. Flux does a great job in preserving the original composition, allowing for a greater artistic control.